Well, hello, this is David Birch at Starpath School of Navigation uh, with a few notes uh, primarily for our, for our online weather course students on um, reading and writing on weather maps, um, part one, I think. Um, so we don't take too long. So here is, a, first of all, let me show you um, this is the uh, latest uh, service analysis map for the Pacific. Uh, this is called the Unified Analysis Map. And let me just see if I can just show you. If you go to the home page of the Weather OPC Ocean Prediction Center and you go to, say, Pacific Marine, and then you click this, you get that button. Now, if you go back here and see the very first one of the page and you click this, it's not quite as good. Uh, so let me not go into sources now, but just uh, just look at this map. And then, so this is a nice one. Uh, this is actually, for if you're working on land, this is uh, or planning things, this is a better map to look at. Once you get underway, however, you do not get this nice map like this, which is a little easier to read. Uh, we'll see in a minute. Uh, and furthermore, it's got these, and this is a whole one of the issues here. If you look at this one, it's got all these tick marks and everything laid off. But once you get at C and you take things from the facts or from the uh, download in any way, uh, you will get the same map. This is the same map valid at, um, you see here, uh, 12 Zulu on February 20th. And uh, it's valid 12 Zulu, February 20th. This is the same map, um, but uh, it's not in color and it doesn't have the grid. So one of the things we want to do is look at how you plot your position on this map in an accurate way, um, in an accurate way so that you can compare what you read on your barometer uh, with the, uh, what the map said. And uh, notice this is valid at 12 Zulu on that. So that means, and this is going to be always some hours later when you're looking at this. So you're going to have to go back into your logbook to see what your barometer and wind speed and wind direction read at 12 Zulu um, at this time. And so that's what the uh, focus of these uh, series will be about. And then maybe I'll start out uh, just with a little bit of looking at the... Um, what these symbols mean uh, and so forth. So let me uh, stop there and come back in a second.